Hi everyone, how are you? Sorry for my um, for my uh, face and hair. I just arrived, like running uh, to the new spot where I'm gonna be, and we had some problems in the middle. So. Um, so yes, so we are today in the third eye of the physical week and the topic today is politics. So I don't have a, a, a board, so, uh, so I don't have anything to show. Um, so I hope you get it anyway. <laughs> I hope you have read the blog for today. Otherwise, it would be good if you read it. So you get so you get more details. Sorry that uh, people were calling me and um, and I am using the Wi-Fi of the phone. Sorry, that I am feeling dizzy, so that's why I'm not. Um, being able <laughs> to, to write, uh, to say maybe things good today. Um, sorry. <laughs> Just the, the, the place is new and there is no. So I was saying that today in the blog that the important thing to have a government is to see if you are able to guide yourself through the ocean to sail. Because it's easier sometimes to criticize the government of others. And, and we don't know how to, if we are governed, if we are doing a good government on, of our own. And when I touched the Nile today in the boat, I was set in that, in that test of my own. So today I I explained that um, in the blog that the command comes from a Greek word that means to to sail the ship. So government is to know how can you sail through the deep waters of the subconscious. So the concept of government, of being someone that knows how to handle the, the ship, to sail in the waters, comes from the, from the Greek concept of the politics in which the kings should gather in meetings to to decide about the countries by sailing in between the, the islands in the Aegeus, in the GNC. They needed to know how to sail, to be in touch with one another. In the Nile, we, we used to, to say that as Atlanteans, they used to sail the night, temple by temple, trying to show itself, to show oneself if we are able to govern ourselves, to sail our own boat. Because if we were not able to do that,
we wouldn't be able to to govern others. Today, politics is seen like something horrible in the world, and those who have come to this to work with politics in the future, um, we can be seen also as something horrible. Politics was was not meant to be something to control. Politics was meant to be something to guide. The one that governs properly is the one that teach the others how to sail in a storm, not the one that tries to drive to sink the boat by itself. The only reason why politics is horrible today is because we are the ones that forgot that we were in a boat. We are the ones that forgot how to sail by ourselves. In the past, they used to say that the politician that was to govern had to go through a very heavy process of learning how to sail itself to govern the inside. And uh, otherwise, that person wouldn't be able to govern on others. In history, the Greek people worked with two different concepts of power, and power is the key. We had two different concepts of power, one inside and the other one outside. One was called the power and the other one was called the main power. Power is kratos and gives birth to all the powers that we call crassy, like democracy, democracy. And the other one was the main power that was called arche. And that's what we have calling everything archy, anarchy, oligarchy. And these two kind of powers <coughs> divided themselves to the external and internal. The external one is the is the one that tries to take power over the others to tell them how to rule their lives according to what are their own expectations or perceptions of the truth. The inside is the one that is an axis that is trying to be example and not a ruler, not a leader. And we are trying to activate that power, the power of the center, to be exempt and not the power of telling the others what is the good thing to do. The Greek used to call to the system of the power of the self as autarky. Autarky means the main power of the oneself. But if that oneself is uncoherent, it's unconscious, it can become a, a tyranny, a dictatorship. The other way to do the autarky, but from the self in consciousness, with awareness, is with the being connected in spirit, soul, and body as one, the entity. So in Greek, 
who was called ontocracy. Usually in our history, we were evolving through revolutions. And in those revolutions, we usually think, create the idea that we need to create a new power. But that new power is never from within. It's always trying to build a new one outside. Today, politics is all about campaign after campaign in a battle to gain territory. Today, politics is all about to convince the other of my own idea, to try to force the others to live according to my own idea. And this battle is not about politics. It's not about the politicians. It's about us. We are the ones doing this that I just explained. Politicians are humans. They are only the ones that represent each one of us. We are the ones doing things that I explain day after day. It's us, day by day, who are trying to convince the others to live according to us, to what we believe, to what we expect. If we keep judging politicians, we will never create the real politics. And today, I had to experience that myself, how I do that. And how I, after six months, I was not able to handle and sail the boat. So I, as I, as I said, um, the I am path is not to, to speak about politics, right or left, communism or capitalism, or to criticize any politician. It is about to understand if we are able to govern ourselves or not. The vibration for today is that. The statement for today is, I am a conscious essence. The code for today is carbon. In life, it's the second most abundant element, for it's, for it's the key of life itself. Carbon, C, is a chemical element that constitutes the creation of life inside the stars. Then when they explode, they fill space with asteroids and comets full, full of it. When submitted to high levels of pressure, it turns into a mineral in diamonds and crystals that combined with other elements sustain biology in all its reigns. Those related with the earth element.
focus on the breathing as you carry the body, acknowledging each part of the body. Imagination to picture um, the huge ocean of my subconscious and my body is the ship, is a boat that is sailing in the waves. Spirit is a captain of this boat, and my soul is a compass. attention now to the people that is inside this boat, this ship. Who are those I am taking with me in the ship? Recognize that all these passengers in my boat are those I govern, are those who came with me to my destiny. As you come back here and now, take deep breath and start to caress the body, bringing all this consciousness to each part of it. tomorrow at the same time as always. See you tomorrow at the same time as always. <laughs>